Native Instruments has officially released Choir Omnia and Context 7 outside of complete so that means you guys could pick both of these up individually if you like i've done a video on contact seven and showed you guys all of the presets if you want to watch that click the link in the description in this video we're focusing on choir omnia as you see right here choir omnia is 399 dollars and i'm telling you if you like choirs this one is for you right here you see it's over 70 gigs of content it's crazy i'm not going to lie so in this video i'm just going to do a quick overview of it maybe mess around with it i'm using my machine so you guys can hear how it sounds a little bit and then just show you guys some of the different pages and options and what you could do with it so let's go ahead and get started all right so i have contact 7 loaded up and right here choir omnia is selected here are your presets for you have autos basses, sopranos and tenors so hear what they sound like So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and load up the autos. I have Choir Omnia loaded up right here. This is the autos preset. And down here are your articulations. If you have a complete control keyboard, it will be color coded on the keyboard. I have the complete control S61, but I am using my machine. You control your articulations right here. So from sustain, say I want to go to staccato. Then you have your different voices over here or lyrics. Change this. So just off of this choir omnia sounds good. You can go through and go into the sequencer, which has even more options. So if you just play it like based off of what's on there now. And you can change your articulations and it will play those through the sequencer as well. There are a lot of presets. It says 188. You can go through here and change it so it filters these out. And let's just pick a random one real quick just to see what it changes to. So right here. This is what it was. So I'm gonna change it to something else. Try another preset. I turned the sequencer off. Turn it back on. And from there, you have a mixer where you could change your reverbs, you know, the usual level panning, solo mute stuff, different things of that nature. The, the reverb has presets right here. You can go through and change some of those. And then here's a little EQ. And then we'll go over here to the settings. You have a few settings here that you can mess around with if you really want to. Let's go back to the main page. And then what I'm gonna show you guys here is where we can click this and then bam. This is where you can edit some of these um, lyrics or whatever you wanna call it, your vowels, lyrics, all of that, you can change that. So for example, this, I'm gonna change it to this, this. So I'm going to hit this one right here, too. Then I'm going to change this one to this. You can change the different durations, articulations, all of that wonderful stuff right there. And as you see, they are coded with this up here so like for staccato you have that so let's just try that real quick i'm gonna change this one to staccato i'm gonna change this one to staccato because that's a longer one change them all to staccato see what it sounds like
So as you see, you can sit here and edit these and play around with them however you want to and save them so that way you have them later. And that's pretty cool. It gives you a lot of options to create your own choirs if you are into choirs. This made me want to use some choirs on some of my beats that I'm working on. So I will show you guys some of those soon. So overall, this is a great contact library if you are interested in using choirs. Again, there's a few other presets for your basses, your sopranos and your tenors. I don't feel the need to go through all of those because it'll be the same. It's just a different, basically different octaves and whatnot. So the beautiful thing about contact is you could layer this with something else. So I'm just going to throw on a piano just because just to show you guys how you can layer it using contact. Let's drop this on. Change the chord. And beyond that, I could turn that off and then put it back on sustain. But I have to go back and change these back to where I had them. So let's go back here. And then I'm just going to send them back to sustain because that's really what I want. So there's a lot of things you can do when using Contact 7 and Choir Omnia. If you're interested in checking these out, click the link in the description. And also, if you want to learn more about Contact 7, watch this video right here. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm about to go ahead and try and make a beat with this. Appreciate y'all for tuning in.